Hey, boys and girls, this is an Amplify Science book, Spikes, Spines, and Shells, A Handbook of Defenses by Chloe Delafield. And this is a reference book from Amplify Science. Spikes, Spines, and Shells, A Handbook of Defense by Chloe Delafield. And this is the table of contents. The table of contents has lots of information in it. It tells you the different chapters, uh, the different subjects that are covered in the book, and what pages you can find them on. Introduction. Animals and plants have defenses. And you can see there are some words that are in bold print. Those are usually words that you're going to find in the glossary. They'll give you a definition of what the word means, and, and it's an important word. Animals and plants have defenses. A defense is something that helps an animal or plant survive or stay alive. Animals and plants defend themselves in different ways. In this book, you will learn about four kinds of defenses. Camouflage, shells and armor, spikes and spines, and poison and venom. Many kinds of plants and animals have more than one defense. <clears throat> This is a lizard trying to eat a spiky cactus. And this is a bird trying to eat a turtle. What's in this book? This page shows an example of what is in this book. Each animal or plant in the book has two pages that tell you about it. Here you can see a picture of the animal or plant. Here you can read about the animal or plant's defenses. Here you can see pictures of the animal or plant's defense. Here, you can learn a little bit about the animal or plant. Here, you can read about what eats the animal. And here, you can see a picture of one of the things that eats the animal or plant. Camouflage. Some animals and plants are hard to see because they blend in. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is a good defense. When an animal or plant has camouflage, it is hard to find. If predators can't find an animal, they can't eat it. And I can see animals camouflaging here in nature. Lava lizards. La what are they? Lava lizards are small animals with scales. They live on rocks and sand near the sea. What is their defense? The color of a lava lizard's skin helps it blend in so predators can't see it. Lava lizards that live mostly on black rocks are dark colored. Lava lizards that live mostly on white sand are light colored. What eats them? Hawks are predators that eat lava lizards. Hawks can see very well and sometimes they see the lava lizards. Then they use their sharp claws and beaks to eat the lava lizard. Walking stick. What are they? Walking sticks are insects. They live on trees and bushes. <clears throat> what is their defense? Walking sticks can hide on trees and bushes. Their bodies look like sticks. Can you guess how walking sticks got their name? What eats them? Walking sticks are hard to see, but some predators find them using smell or other senses. Mice, bats, Monkeys and snakes eat walking sticks. Pebble plant. What are they? Pebble plants are small plants and they grow low to the ground in dry places with sand and rocks. What is their defense? Pebble plants are hard to find when they grow near small rocks. They blend in with rocks. Can you tell the difference between the rocks and the pebble plant in this picture? What eats them? Some kinds of crickets will eat pebble plants if they can find them. Screech owls. What are they? Screech owls are birds. They live in forests. What is their defense? Screech owls can hide in trees. Their feathers look like tree bark. Can you find the screech owl in this picture? What eats them? Hawks and bigger owls eat screech owls. 
they can see very well, and sometimes they find the screech owls. Shells and armor. Some plants and animals have shells or armor for defense. It is hard for a predator to bite through a shell. Shells and armor help keep plants and animals from being eaten. Rhinos. What are they? Rhinos are big animals with horns. They live in places with lots of grass to eat. What is their defense? Rhinos have thick, tough skin. It is very hard to get through rhino skin. What do you think rhino feels like? Hmm. What eats them? Humans are the only animals that hunt grown-up rhinos. Lions and crocodiles sometimes eat baby rhinos. <clears throat> Green sea turtles. What are they? Green sea turtles are animals that live in the sea. They only go on land to lay eggs in the sand. What is their defense? Green sea turtles have thick, hard shells on their backs. The shells are hard to bite. What eats them? Big sharks have very strong jaws and very sharp teeth. Their teeth and jaws are strong enough to break the shell of a green sea turtle. And these sharks can eat green sea turtles. Baobabs. What are they? Baobabs are trees. They grow in places with lots of space for them to get big. What is their defense? Baobabs have very strong bark. The bark is like a shell that defends the tree. What eats them? No animals eat the whole baobab tree. Humans, monkeys, and squirrels eat the fruit of a baobab tree. This does not harm the tree. Sally Lightfoot Crabs. What are they? Sally Lightfoot Crabs are brightly colored crabs. They live near the sea. They hide between rocks. What is their defense? Sally Lightfoot Crabs have hard shells. It is not easy to bite through their shells. What eats them? Some kinds of birds have beaks that are strong and sharp enough to break crab shells. These birds eat crabs. Herons are one kind of bird that eats Sally Lightfoot crabs. Spikes and spines. It is easy to see how spikes and spines are defenses. These sharp parts make some plants and animals hard to eat. Predators may stay away from an animal with spikes. Thorny dragons. What are they? Thorny dragons are lizards. The... Oh, it looks like there's a typo in the book. It should say, they live in hot, dry places with lots of sand. What is their defense? Thorny dragons have spikes all over their bodies. Do you think it would be easy to eat a thorny dragon? What eats them? Brown falcons eat thorny dragons. Brown falcons are birds with sharp beaks and claws. Brown falcons can get past the spikes on the thorny dragon using their sharp beaks. <clears throat> Crown of thorns. What are they? This is a type of thorny plant that grows in hot places where it rains a lot. It is called the crown of thorns plant. What is their defense? The crown of thorns plants have strong, sharp thorns. If you grab the stem of a crown of thorns plant, it would hurt your hand. What eats them? Some kinds of insects can eat the leaves and flowers of the crown of thorns plant. The thorns defend the plant against bigger animals that could eat the whole thing. Hedgehogs. What are they? Hedgehogs are small animals that live in the forest. They eat worms, insects, eggs, berries, and roots. What is their defense? 
Hedgehogs are covered with spines. Hedgehogs can roll up, so only their spines are showing. When a hedgehog sees, hears, or smells a predator, it rolls into a ball. What eats them? Badgers can eat hedgehogs. Badgers have sharp teeth and big claws that can get past a hedgehog's spiky defense. Puffer fish. What are they? Puffer fish are fish that live in the sea all around the world. What is their defense? When puffer fish see or hear predators, they puff up. They have hard, sharp spines all over that stick out when they puff up. Puffer fish are much bigger when they puff up. What eats them? Some kinds of sharks and sea snakes can eat puffer fish. Sea snakes have venom that help them catch puffer fish. <clears throat> poison and venom. Poison and venom can hurt animals and make them sick. Animals avoid eating poison. They stay away from animals with venom. These defenses help keep poisonous and venomous plants and animals from being eaten. Lionfish. What are they? Lionfish are fish that live in the sea. They have spines that stick out all over. Some people think the spines look like a lion's mane. What is their defense? Lionfish spines are venomous. If predators get too close, lionfish can sting them. A lionfish sting hurts a lot. What eats them? Most animals try not to get close to a lionfish, and that means lionfish do not have a lot of different predators. Eels sometimes eat lionfish, but they usually find other things to eat. Fox gloves. What are they? Fox gloves are plants with flowers. They grow in forests and gardens. What is their defense? Fox gloves are poisonous. The whole plant has poison in it. The flowers, leaves, root, and stem all have poison in them. What eats them? Some kind of caterpillars can eat foxglove flowers and leaves. The poison does not make them sick. Spitting cobras. What are they? Spitting cobras are big snakes. They live in very hot places. When a spitting cobra is in danger, it will stick up its head and puff out the sides of its neck. What is their defense? Spitting cobra's bites are full of deadly venom. Spitting cobras can also shoot venom. They shoot for, for the eyes. If an animal attacks a spitting cobra, the cobra will shoot venom at the animal's eyes. What eats them? Crocodiles, birds, and big lizards can eat spitting cobras and one kind of big lizard that eats spinning cobras is called a monitor lizard. Poison dart frogs. What are they? Poison dart frogs are tiny frogs with brightly colored skin. They live in trees and hot, wet forests. What is their defense? Poison dart frogs have poison on their skin. They are very pretty, but it's a bad idea to touch them. What eats them? There is one kind of snake that does not get sick from eating poison dart frogs, and it's called the fire belly snake. And these are two very important features of a nonfiction text. We have the glossary and we have the index. The glossary goes over important words that were mentioned in the text. And the important words mentioned in the text are uh, usually darker and a little bit thicker. That's called bold print. So when you see a word in bold print, you know it's important. And it will probably be mentioned in the glossary. The glossary tells you what each word means. And the index tells you a list of important keywords that were mentioned in text. And it tells you what pages they were on. So if you wanted to get specific information, say you just wanted to learn about the foxglove and you could not get that information in the front from your table of contents, 
It didn't tell you what we do. We have fox gloves right here. We have lionfish. So this is a very complete table of contents. But if you couldn't find what you needed in the table of contents, you could come back to the index and look for a keyword and it'll tell you what pages that keyword is mentioned on. And you can turn to that page to get the information that you need. And this index is on a second page as well. It's a very long index. This book is Spikes, Spines, and Shells, A Handbook of Animal Defenses by Chloe Delafield. And this is a reference book that accompanies the Amplify Science curriculum. I hope you loved it.